tragic story we've been following overnight. The CEO of the Memphis Chamber of Commerce, Phil Trenary, gunned down in downtown Memphis. The search for the suspect still ongoing this morning. Local 24 News reporter Jeanne Francine is covering that live for us this morning. But first, on the phone this morning, we have Representative Antonio Parkinson, who is uh, commenting on this, and everybody is just shocked. The community rocked by this. Representative Parkinson, and, and you spoke with him shortly before his death last night. I did. I did. We spoke maybe about uh, 10 hours before uh, before I heard the news. And, and, you know, we were talking, you know, we were friends. We were talking about things that friends talk about. And uh, he was coming to the block party this weekend. We were excited about that. And and we're looking forward to seeing each other. You know, he's uh, Phil, I, I've been knowing him since 2003. And, uh, you know, we were, we, we were, we were friends and we, we, you know, we, we, the type of friendship, the type of relationship that, you know, you can go through your ups and downs in the relationship, but you still have the relationship and, and, you know, you have a mutual respect for each other. And that's how we were. And, and we were looking forward to seeing each other this weekend. And it's shocking news and, and, uh, just unexpected, uh, situation. And, and, you know, we're, we're, we're praying for, you know, the Trinary family and for Bridget and, and, and everybody else that's, you know, that was close to him. And this is really just a shocking news to digest this morning, obviously rocking the community. So many condolences pouring in, people calling him a mm -hmm. visionary, a champion of Memphis. And as you just talked about, uh, this block party, Picnic for Peace going on in Raleigh this, uh, this weekend starting today, an, an event to gather the community to bring kids together. You, you talk a little bit about what you guys are hoping to mm -hmm. do there. These kind of events obviously rock a community. It's also so hard for a child to see happen in their community in downtown Memphis, somebody prominent killed. Yeah, and and you know, it, 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 you know, this is something that we deal with on 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 a daily basis, you know, in our city. And and our goal with the block party and picnic piece, the reason with that why we do this every year is because we want to improve people's quality of life. And 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 you know, we believe that if you improve people's quality of life. It removes the the financial incentive from criminal activity, and so that's our goal. And so you know, and you know, this morning we have uh, our work in progress career fair that's presented by our Workforce Investment Network that's taking place. So if people are looking for a job, or or you can come and get one here, we got almost we got forty plus employers that's going to be here. Um, if, if you have a job already and you want a better job, you can come here and get it. Uh, right here at, at the block party and picnic for peace and and you know and then uh, of course we want to improve people's quality of life through education not just academic education but but social education also in in, in light of situations like this we also want to improve people's quality of life uh through health through opportunities and health and so you can get it all here at the block party and it's a family event you know so so adults bring your kids out you know grandparents bring the kids and the grandkids and 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 come out and and enjoy uh of uh, festive family environment, you know, here at the Block Party for Peace. And, you know, and that's what we do it for, you know, because we, we, we want to empower people to, to, you know, be able to empower themselves. Representative Parkinson, thanks so much for joining us this morning and for your words. Obviously, just another way this weekend to uh, continue the legacy and memory of Trenary. Now, turning this morning to the investigation, our reporter live at the scene this morning, Local 24 reporter Jeanne Francine, covering this case which broke last night. Jeanne, what are you learning this morning about the investigation? Well, Kayla, Memphis police tell us a jogger was running right here along the 500 block of South Front Street when a male pulled up in a white pickup truck and actually shot the jogger. And come to find out the jogger that was shot was Phil Trenary, who's headed the Memphis Chamber since 2014. Trenary, a longtime Memphian and businessman, was deeply dedicated to Memphis and the downtown area. Now, we know the Chamber was holding their Move at Memphis four mile last night, which is a four mile race that ends at Laughlin Yard. The race started at 630 and Trenary was participating in that race. Shortly before 8 o'clock, Memphis police received a call that a shooting happened here on South Front, a third of a mile away from the race finish line. It was soon discovered Trenary was the victim. He was transported to Regional 1, where he was soon pronounced deceased. Now, Caitlin, Memphis police are still looking for the suspect this morning. Here's what we know. 
Police say the suspect is a black male with dreads. He was wearing a blue shirt at the time and he was in a white four door F-150 and investigators have still been looking around this morning, searching the area. Kaylin, we saw them earlier in their cruisers this morning. They were getting out with flashlights, searching inside of apartment windows and searching through the bushes. Of course, this is a developing story and as soon as we get more information in, you will be the first to know. Reporting live in downtown Memphis, Gina Francine, Good Day Memphis. And just a little more background on Trenary this morning. He served as the chamber president since 2014. Before that, he was president of Pinnacle Airlines for 13 years. And while with the company, he grew it from a $75 million business to a billion dollar one. While serving as president, he always thought of ways to bring business to the Bluff City, even helping organize the gubernatorial debate here in Memphis this past April. Trenary leaves behind his wife and three kids as he was a grandfather as well. We'll stay on top of this story on air and online. You can follow us at localmemphis.com.